Hey everybody, this is Chris with Lift Kits for Less. Hey, today I'm going to be talking about the three inch pro comp kit for your Toyota FJ. Now this is everything from 07 to 2014, so any FJ guy out here, this might be the right kit for you. Um, I'm going to talk about what comes with the kit, um, all of the components, what the installation looks like. We're actually going to be installing this on a 2014 FJ. We'll do some before photos, after photos, take some measurements for you. Hopefully this will help you to determine if this is the right kit for you. Now I'm a big fan of pro comp, love pro comp. Love their uh, support, their tech support, their warranty. Um, everything about ProComp is uh, first class. So let's talk about what actually comes in this kit and why it might work for you and why it might not work for you. First of all, the directions come with it. Um, like a lot of these manufacturers, it says 2000 to 2009. That's not correct, it's 07 to 14. Um, the part number is a K5074B. So that's 5074B, ProComp part number. Um, First of all, this is a full length coilover. So there's a lot of kits on the market that use just a strut spacer on the top. This actually is a full coil. Now it does require you to disassemble your factory coilover and use part of the strut top and then you're gonna put all this together. Unique part of this kit, unique to Procom, is that when you're done lifting um, your FJ on a lift kit, I've found that the, um, the front end will sit lower on the driver's side. So they actually include a quarter inch plate and you only install this on your driver's side, so when you're done, it sits level, not kicked to one side. So pretty cool. Um, this is the coil. This is the strut. This is a gas charge strut. So, man, if we could, uh, ain't no way I'm gonna compress that. So, hey, keep in mind for any of you guys that are installing this, ideally we should have a professional shop install this. This is under tremendous pressure when you put this together, and if for some reason this were to come loose, it would be very dangerous. So. Keep in mind that um, if, if you're going to do this, use a uh, professional coil spring compressor, okay? So these are the front struts. This is the coil, coil spacer. It comes with the bushings for the top of this. Also, in this kit, it comes with the differential drops. So these are the bolts that go with your diff. It's going to drop your differential down. Very important, you don't want your differential arms sitting like this. You want them straight. So this will help keep your CVs. comes with a sway bar bracket. Sway bar drop also drops your sway bars, and it comes with the skid plate spacers, so you retain your factory skid plate, and that's the hardware. Um, those are the front components. Go to the rear, pretty nice. You get a full length coil, or not a spacer, but actual full, full coil, and then gas charged nitrogen shocks, of course, with the hardware. So basically, that's the kit. Um, this will clear a 33, 12 and a half, um, so it's a nice size tire. I actually have a 2007 FJ myself, and I run a three inch leveling kit, and uh, I'm real happy. I like that size tire for my FJ, that's for me. Um, cool, well, let's, uh, we'll get this on that, uh, get this going on the FJ. Remember at Lift Kits for Less, we, uh, we really try to help you out with all these questions, try to be the leader in content. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. Remember at Lift Kits for Less, you get more. This is what it looks like fully assembled. One thing I didn't talk about earlier is there's a lot of inexpensive kits on the market where you can just simply put a strut spacer on top and that, that's fine. But the value of doing a full length coil is that this will handle the weight of the 33 inch tire. The stock coilover is really designed for the stock wheel and the stock weight. So by, by going to a full length coil, this is gonna handle those 33s a lot better, give you a lot better performance and ride. Okay, cool. Gary, our lead mechanic, is going to get this installed. You'll see some before, some during photos, after photos. Okay, cool. Hey, so we're all done with this. It's installed and we got the tires on it. You can see already a, a dramatic difference, night and day. It looks like you can really get some great clearance and off-road this. Um, 
C customer with a pretty large tire, actually quite a bit larger than what was recommended for this particular Pro Comp kit. This is a 315.70 R17, almost a 35 inch tire, which um, there's enough will, will, well to make that work, but probably going to have a little bit of rubbing, but that was the customer's choice. So as you can see, with a simple 3 inch leveling strut, almost clear a 35 inch tire, and it obviously looks extremely aggressive, looks great. Real quick, I wanted to grab this measurement. Um, looks like we're exactly right at 23 and a half, center of hub to bottom of uh, the fender. Let's jump over the other side and see how this turned out. I mean, just looking at it, to me, it looks like it sits perfectly level. So, yeah, we're dead on 23 and a half. So, looks like it gained about three, three and a quarter, three inches. So, maybe even a little more than three. So, I'm real happy, obviously. The customer's been driving this for a couple weeks. We had them back to do the retort, but looks fantastic. Um, the only, the only downside to any leveling kit when you don't go to full suspension where you replace your knuckle is your control arms can sit at a little bit of an angle. Dave, you come over here, I'll show you these control arms. So, in a perfect world, we'd like our control arms to come straight out. And of course, when you add three inches of lift, it starts to angle the arms down. And the downside to that is trying to get a good alignment. Um, there's still plenty of travel up and down. It's just, in a perfect world, um, this, this is the compromise of going with a leveling kit, is that you're going to have, um, with your OE arms, not an ideal ball joint um, angle. So the Pro Comp does offer for the FJ uh, an aftermarket arm that gives you a lot better camber, a lot better angle. So those are available. We have those at Lift Kits for Less. Anyway, um, obviously, as you can see, this thing turned out awesome. Um, customers said it, ride, it rides great and feels great. So and I obviously... Um, you can see it's just a dramatic difference. Again, here at Lift Kits for Less, we're happy to help if you have any questions. Um, we know a lot of people are getting new to off-roading and it's a little overwhelming, but if you have questions, give us a call. We're happy to help.